Today I will tell you about terrestrial plants. What are terrestrial plants? Plants which grow on land are called terrestrial plants. What are the different types of terrestrial plants? The different types of terrestrial plants are plants of hills, plants of plains, plants of hot and wet regions, plants of marshy areas, plants of desert areas. Can you tell me about these one by one? How are they different from each other? Okay, then listen about the plants of hills. Pine, deodar, cedar, spruce and fir are some of the plants which grow on hills. These plants are tall, straight and generally have a conical shape. These tall, straight and green conical trees make hills appear green and beautiful. Their leaves are narrow and needle shaped. The conical shape of these trees does not allow snow to get deposited on them. Wow! Now tell me about plants of plains. People, banyan, mango, sal, shisham are some of the plants found in plains. They grow into trees having many branches. They shed their leaves in a particular season. Plants of hot and wet regions Trees like teak, rubber and coconut are found in hot and wet regions. These generally have a large number of leaves. They shed their leaves gradually. Hence, they are called evergreen trees. Plants like pepper, cotton, rice and banana also grow in hot and wet regions. Do you want to know about the plants of marshy areas? What is a marsh? A, a marsh is a very wet muddy area on land. Oh, mangroves grow in marshy soil. These plants develop special roots for breathing as their main underground roots do not get sufficient oxygen from the soil. Portions of their roots come out of the soil above the water level and take oxygen from air. These roots are called breathing roots. They are also called aerial roots. Can you name a plant which grows in desert areas? Can plants grow in desert also? Cactus grows in a desert. It can survive in soil that has very little water. It has a green stem and well developed roots. The stem stores water. Therefore, it is soft and fleshy. Cactus plant has spines instead of leaves. It prevents water loss and grazing by the animals. How are plants cultivated? For cultivation, the farmers 
first prepare their fields to sow the seeds for this they first dig the soil loosen it and make it soft this is called plowing plowing is done by using the plow which is an iron structure these days plowing is done with the help of tractors plowing is followed by sprinkling of seeds it is necessary to drop the right amount of seeds at regular distances the field is then watered after a few days small plants start sprouting along with these sprouts weeds may also appear in the fields these undesirable plants which sometimes appear along with the cultivated plants are the weeds and they can harm the growth of cultivated plants hence they are removed from the soil so that they do not consume water and fertilizers which are meant for the main crop the cultivated plants grow and give us the desired products some such plants are sugarcane maize wheat rice etc